Hey guys, I was recently asked for a headshot for an event that I'm speaking at and realized it would be a great opportunity to share with you guys some AI tools for creating professional looking headshots. There's no need for a professional photographer anymore, no need to change outfits or have a photo shoot. You can do this really easily using AI tools. Most of these are paid, but the price is minimal. Think $30 versus what you would have paid to have a photographer, change outfits, find locations, and things like that. Let's get into it. First up, we have Aragon AI. We'll just go to aragon.ai and sign up for a free account. This one is created by former Meta and Microsoft employees. They pump out about a million headshots a month. So this is definitely one of the more popular platforms. How these AI tools work is by uploading well-lit selfies, and then they create a custom AI model that's trained on your photos. However, as you'll see in the video, not all AI headshot generators are created equal. Here's a tip. If an AI tool promises to give you professional headshots in a matter of seconds, it's probably not worth your time. Quality AI headshots usually take about an hour to render. So once you're signed in, it gives you photo requirements, what to do, what not to do. You have to upload six of your best photos. It's actually better if you upload a few more than six. I've found that eight is a good number. So you'll click upload files. It works best if you're uploading selfies. So here I have some headshots. So we're just gonna select and upload them. Once your photos are uploaded, continue. Next, you'll select which payment plan you wanna do. $35 is the base plan. You can get 20 high quality headshots with five different outfits and backgrounds and five different poses. We're gonna go ahead and select this one. Again, it's not free, but it's much cheaper than hiring a photographer and getting professional photos. So let's see how it turns out. I'm gonna select 35, continue. Okay, great, now we're gonna create our photos. Okay, they're done. It took about 40 minutes, not 30. We'll click here to open up the images. They've given me a bonus for today of 100 images instead of the promised 30. That's cool. I'm, I'm not sure if they do that every time, but it definitely means there's a better chance that there's a couple that I could use. On some of them, you'll notice the body looks too big for the head, so that's a downside. But overall, it's amazing that you can get such a variety from just uploading six to 10 selfies. You can edit these, but you need the pro plan. Editing is a neat option because if you select edit, here you'll be able to enhance the face. If you don't like how the face looks, you could use magic eraser to take something out of the image. But if you try to do this, it's gonna tell you that you need the pro subscription. That is $100 for the year or weekly at $8. So you could get it for a week, make some edits and then cancel at $8. If you have the subscription and you're able to edit, you can also change the background. I could select this and I could upload my own background or you can choose from city, office, things like that. That's a neat option as well if you're on the paid plan. Let's see how blinkheadshot.ai, which is another AI tool for creating professional looking headshots, stacks up to this paid one that we just reviewed from Google and Meta tech executives. This one is called blinkheadshot.ai. This AI tool says you can get professional headshots with just one picture and that it can generate this in five seconds. Let's put that to the test. Again, it's gonna give you examples. You need good lighting. You have to be looking at the camera, different colors between your outfit and the background. And they all recommend that you take in this image recently. Let's upload our image. We will upload one image and select that we are a woman. Once your image is uploaded, go ahead and create headshot. Here's our headshot. This app was accurate in that it does only take five seconds but the headshot that it generated looks a little bit cartoony. It's not my mouth, not even similar at all. And the face looks too touched up. So they give you an option to generate 200 unique headshots. And if you select that option, you can select which type of clothing you wanna use and then which type of background. This time you'll upload five images and select continue. From here, we're just gonna go ahead and double check everything that we've selected. I'm a woman. I want these outfits, polo, white shirts, navy suits, white blouse, and for backgrounds, I chose a bookstore, cafe, street, corner, and a park. Continue. It'll give you the option to see a preview image. So right now it's generating a preview image. From that, you can choose if you want this app to create over 200 headshots for you, then you can choose accept and purchase. I'm not gonna do that because I still think these look too cartoony and the eyes are weird and I think the mouth doesn't really look like me. But let's say that you wanted to purchase, it's gonna be $30 essentially for 200 images. Okay, next up is Secta Labs AI for headshots. 
With Sectel, you're gonna upload 25 of your selfies and they generate over 300 images for $49.99. So you have a much bigger selection. Let's see how Secta compares to our first tool, Aragon, since that one was pretty good. Okay, once you're at Secta Labs, you are going to sign in, and then you'll go through the similar steps as before with Aragon. We'll change this to woman, so I am a person as well. This helps the AI understand what gender you want to be represented as so that they don't put you in a man's suit if you're a woman and so forth. Ethnicity, add that. And you can include your LinkedIn URL. So they will use your current profile picture as the reference for facial accuracy. Hit continue. And here you can select which type of style you want for your headshots. One thing to keep in mind here, you can choose up to three styles and you want to note how many photos you get in each style. So here for professional headshots, there are 120 different photos that you get. So that is one that we're going to use for this purpose. For these different ones, you get less photos. This one's a little bit different because it's broken down by your profession, unlike Aragon, which was more generic overall. I'm going to go ahead and select professional headshots since that gives us the most images. And I will go with stars and stripes so we get another 100 and futuristic. But continue. Now we're to the step where we're going to actually upload our images. Here, Secta reminds us to make sure that our face and eyes are fully visible, that we have a natural expression, pose, and photo angle. So let's go ahead and fill that up. I really underestimated how few selfies I have of myself. Up here, you see 73% of users reported a better outcome if you can hit this mark over here. I don't have that many pictures of myself. Even getting these that I've uploaded was difficult. What's really neat about Secta is as you're uploading images, right here, a box will appear and it'll give you recommendations based on the images that you're uploading. So it may say you need more close-up images or you need more images with your full body. I usually have other people around me, which could confuse the model. Secta recommends four or more pictures that show your body. I was not able to find that, so we'll just have to see how it does without that. I've done more than the minimum, as you can see by this bar at the top here, but less than the recommended. Hopefully I will get a good result and not just the basic functionality. Let's find out. Now we're gonna select a favorite photo of how my face looks. We're gonna select that from all of the images that I uploaded that were approved as quality images that could be used to train the model. I will choose my YouTube one as the favorite. Now you submit, but then we wait an hour. They will email you once the model has finished analyzing and rendering all of the images. The takeaway here is I'm not sure why Aragon AI is the most popular AI tool for generating headshots. Out of the five AI tools that I tried for generating headshots, I think the top two were definitely Aragon AI and Secta AI. I have to say, after looking through these images, I think that Secta is a better option Secta offers more overall functionality. You can specify by occupation which type of headshots you're looking for, as well as the model trains on not only dozens more selfies of yourself, but also it trains on data from your LinkedIn profile. This makes a more accurate facial recognition. Overall, I think it picked up on more subtleties in my face. It got the mole in some of the images. Sec is a much more tedious process versus Aragon because you need so many selfies in the first place. So if you're in a time crunch, maybe Aragon is your choice. If you wanna take more time and get a better overall result, I think that Secta is the winner here. So it really just comes down to personal preference, but those two AI tools are the absolute best when it comes to headshot generation right now.